Hi, this is Heather Fiore with Free State Nutrition, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about intuitive eating. It might be something you've heard of before, um, maybe you're brand new to the idea. Um, I, I want to tell you a little bit about what it means to me and how uh, I, why I think it's really for everybody, frankly. So, um, intuitive eating is a process. And there are 10 principles, and a lot of times it kind of gets boiled down to, well, listening to your body, um, eating when you're hungry, stopping when you're full. And to be honest, those are two of the principles, but there are also eight other principles. And that's the idea uh, where there are many other pieces to it. We look at our the satiety of our food. We look at giving ourselves unconditional permission to eat. We look at our relationship with exercise. We look at our relationship with our bodies. We uh, talk about um, using food to handle emotions. And, um, and we, also, we also talk about nutrition, believe it or not. Um, eventually, like at the end. But the very first thing that we have to do in order to start this process is to reject the diet mentality. At least you need to consider this idea before uh, moving forward. It's okay if you don't 100% buy into it, but if you're willing to consider it, I'll take it. So rejecting the diet mentality means first we have to look at what is a diet. Diet is caloric restriction. They might call it wellness, they might call it a plan or uh, a lifestyle or whatever, clean eating, you name it. It's caloric restriction. When um, our calories are restricted, our bodies reject. And so basically what I'm telling you is diets don't work. Uh, it's not that you are weak and you don't have enough willpower or any of those things. Diets don't work. They are designed to fail. Um, they are just set up that way. And 95% of people either don't lose the weight to begin with, or if they do, they gain it back within five years. So um, that's not a lifestyle. That's not sustainable. Five years is great, but hopefully you're going to live a lot longer than five years. And that um, isn't really a solution to just be gaining and losing weight every five years. Um, not to mention the fact that it's terrible to be constantly thinking about what did I eat, what am I going to eat, and how much did I exercise, and you know, all the things that we think about when we're trying to lose weight. Focusing on changing your body through exercise and eating will lead you uh, to fail because it doesn't work. There are, um, the exercise and eating are only a a little piece of a pie where the rest of the pie is a whole bunch of stuff we don't have control over. Our genetics, um, what's our metabolism doing? Are we on any medications? Um, what does the rest of our lifestyle look like? What, what, how old are we? What is, you know, what's going on with our hormones? Um, and you know, what does your lifestyle in terms of, uh, do you have a desk job? or do you have a physically active job? You know, those types of things, in theory, you can get a new job, but in reality, you know, these are things that aren't necessarily in our control. And they all impact what our um, weight is going to do. And so this calories in, calories out idea really is, um, it's overly simplistic. And uh, honestly, it's just, it's a lie. That's, um, to put it bluntly, that is the fact. So. If we accept that premise, um, then we have a shot at looking at, okay, you know, what is the point of eating well or, or moving around? Um, and hopefully you eat for enjoyment and you also eat for health. Um, and you eat, um, you know, to satisfy right? To nourish and to feel good. Like you eat, 
things that feel good in your body and you don't eat things that don't feel good in your body because you hopefully, you know, want, want your body to be happy. Um, and the same for exercise. You don't exercise just to punish yourself for eating certain things, but you exercise um, because it feels good and you like how it feels when you're done and it, um, you know, gives you strength or flexibility or uh, stamina or, or whatever it is you're you're trying to achieve um, you know like I said hopefully you enjoy it while you're doing it as well those are the reasons to exercise not to burn calories okay so um, that's sort of uh, the, the beginning of the process if any of that sounds like something you could wrap your head around I would like to help you take the rest of the steps. Um, there is a workbook. You can buy it. It's called the Intuitive Eating Workbook. It is very, um, you know, stepwise. Lots of, you know, you get your pencil out. It's very much a workbook. You answer questions. You, you get in there and you do it. Uh, a lot of people feel like they need support. And um, that's what I do. So some people can absolutely just get the workbook and, and do it. Um, but a lot of times people find a lot of benefit to talking these things out, to working through it with a person, you know, each step of the way. Because it all sounds very simple, and in a way it is simple, but it's not easy. And that's the, that's the difference. So if it's at all something you think you might be interested in, please schedule a call with me. And we'll talk about all get all your questions answered. How does it work? How long does it take? What does it cost? Does your insurance cover it? All of those things. Uh, and I also have a, um, a, a self-guided option where you've got some access to me through a group, um, but you're also mostly doing it on your own, feeling like if you need somewhere in between the workbook and the intensive work with me. I have that for you too, so we can talk about that. Um, so I hope this is helpful, giving you an idea of what this process is all about. Um, I could really go on and on, and I'm, um, I'm trying to keep this short so that it's most helpful to you. Um, but thanks for watching.